Greetings to all of you dear ones, welcome to the Fixed Focus program. Today I want to turn the heat of fixed focus into movement. Of course, not with proper efficiency, and I just want to say that we can do this much easier with the fixed focus system. For this purpose, instead of the oil spiral pipe, we should put a small tank the size of the existing spiral pipe. To be able to move the oil spiral tube, I already made two cuts to the right size on the focus mount in the right direction and put a retaining guard over it. Now I remove the metal guard and if I didn't make the cut I would have to remove the entire copper pipe. Therefore, this method is less troublesome. I bend the copper pipe carefully and little by little so as not to damage the copper pipe. I bend it enough not to disturb our work. Focus is very hot. There is a light beam on the camera, which can be fixed with a little movement. I made a small metal tank to which two pipes are attached. The two pipes on the tank are responsible for directing the water steam to the tiny holes at the end. This tank is located on two bearings from the bottom, and in this way it can move easily. The main problem is that this tank is not balanced during its rotation, and it will cause energy loss and vibration. In fact, this is a solar heron steam ball that we install in the focus and it works with solar energy. In these pictures you can see heron steam ball types. There are different ways to perform heron steam ball which you can see in these short videos which mostly works with direct heat or with indirect steam pressure. A small diameter will increase the speed, but it will have less torque. Even with a metal food can, you can make a heron steam ball. The distance of the length of the pipes from the tank causes changes in the speed and power of rotation. That is, if the length of the pipes increases, the rotation speed will be low, but the torque force will be higher. In fact, the law of levers in physics is the same as what you see in the figure. This also applies to steam turbines, that is, the initial steam hits the HP rotor with high pressure, and then when the pressure decreases, it hits the LP rotor. In the figure, you can see the steam inlet and outlet in the turbine. Well, I connect this tank to the base of the focus with two metal fasteners. I put the bearings inside the iron tube of the focus base and fasten them around with a metal clamp. The focus area is very hot and I have to be careful. The tank should be placed exactly in the focal point. Of course, it seems that the tank does not rotate very smoothly. Well, for the water in the tank, I use distilled water so that the water solutes do not prevent the steam from escaping. The hole at the end of the steam outlet pipes can be chosen small or large. And the power of this rotation depends directly on the mass of the steam output and the speed of the steam output. The high pressure inside the tank can greatly increase the speed of the steam exit. 
If the used tank is thick and the solar dish is large, the pressure of the tank can be increased up to 30 bar, even though the steam outlet holes are small. The tank is extremely hot and steams when pouring water. I poured about 1 liter of water into the tank. Now I will close the iron pipe plug at the water inlet. I have to tighten it with a wrench. Water is coming out of the holes at the end of the pipes and pressure is slowly building up. We allow the water in the tank to boil and build up the pressure necessary for movement. Now I will move the camera closer to see how the tank is located. You can see that the sunlight is focused on the tank. Of course, our solar dish is not so big. Here, there is no more energy loss during the transfer of hot oil. You can see that the tank is rusted and has a dark color and will absorb more sunlight. It's been less than 20 minutes now and you can see that the tank has started to rotate. And I think this rotation will last for less than an hour. Of course, the less water the tank has, the lower the pressure and the slower the rotation. During rotation, the water hits the walls of the tank and increases the moment of inertia. Now I think the power of this rotation is good and maybe it can run a 200 watt generator. For this, we can place a dynamo at the end of the axis of rotation. Well, I will bring the camera closer so that the rotation of the tank is easier to see. You can see that the tank is not balanced in the direction of its rotation, that's why it vibrates. Although the focus base is fixed, this small panel is vibrating. And if the focus base was not fixed, it would cause the solar dish and the whole system to vibrate. The important thing is that if the tank was balanced, the rotation speed would be much higher. While now its rotational energy is spent on the vibration of the focal base. Of course, this method is not suitable for converting thermal energy into kinetic energy and generating electricity, and a better method is to use a steam turbine. Well, I hope you are satisfied with this program. It was an experience in the fixed focus system. I hope to use a bigger dish for this system in the future to run things with more energy. The method of using hot oil to heat the steam boiler will give better results. Until the next program goodbye.